this is Natalie at the Vintage Cross Stitch Niche bringing you another video. I know it's been a has it been a while? It's been a few weeks. I have been incredibly busy uh, just setting up and decorating for Christmas. My entire house inside and out is decorated. I do not get a lot of help anymore from the kids. <laughs> they show up here and there and some of them don't live here so it's basically me and uh, it's a labor of love so I'm happy to do it. We'll get right down to it. Uh, what do I usually start with a finish? This is not a Christmas finish. It's a finish that's I just got back from the finisher. This is by Blackbird Designs. Salute to Abigail, done on R and R Mink, R and R Mink, and the colors. I used colors by Victorian Motto Sampler Threads, and I don't remember the name. I have them written down somewhere, and if anybody's interested, I can let you know. But it was her Americana collection, so. Salute to Abigail. Isn't that great? It's beautiful and this is just some fabric I had. Just some, I guess you'd call it, I don't know, canvas or duck or nice cotton. Finished perfectly at the cross stitch cupboard. This is not something that I would do. I, sort of, I like this, this look. It sort of reminds me of this look. And of course this pillow is also finished at the cross stitch cupboard, and this is Brenda Gervais' letter to Santa. This is more of a red, white, and blue piece for the summer, so that is a finish. What am I working on? Well, this has been a bad week for stitching because I've been so preoccupied. I have to, I go to work, and then I'm doing this, so I haven't really finished anything, but. I've been working on New England St. Nick by the Good Housewife. Didn't do this on black. I did not do this on black because it's too hard. Instead, I used 18th century blackbird. It's almost done. Let's, oop, here's one of my vintage needle minders. Let's show you what I have already. Pretty much almost done. As you can see, this is 18th century Blackbird. It's 33 count. It is an older piece, so it's, it's fairly crunchy and it's got lines in it and a lot of variegation. So what do I have to do? I have to finish that tree. That tree is almost finished and put the star in and that's it and we're done. I'm not sure how this is going to be finished. Um, that's a dilemma I have here. I'm not sure, but if you want to see a little up close. These are called four colors. They're silks. Needlepoint silk. Since this was given to me by a member of our group, I'm going to give it to somebody else. I'm probably... Let's see. Oh, I just realized that's not finished either. I'm probably going to do this as a little mini giveaway of some sort. I don't know. I was thinking about a contest. I know it's a, uh, this is a, a uh, unicorn for a lot of people. So, because it's hard to get. So I was lucky that somebody gave it to me. Somebody very nice sent it to me. So... I never would think of selling something that somebody gave me, but I know if other one of pe people want to stitch it, I'll give it to somebody else. So The only issue I have with this is the colors are a little dull. They're not bright, which means that the finishing has to be really interesting. So I'm not sure what to do yet. That I'm thinking about. If anybody has a suggestion, let me know. Now what are we going to do today? I'll show you stuff that I have gotten. Man, I have too much stuff. So I'm on a no chart buying 
binge. No chart buying binge, yes. But I do have some charts I bought. I hope that brings you a laugh because it brings me a laugh when I say, oh no, I, I, I didn't do that right. I'm not following my rule. But I'll show you the stuff I got. And then, um, I'm trying not to make this a long video, I'm going to show you one of the older cross-stitch, uh, just cross-stitch Christmas cross-stitch uh, issues. So we'll show you some more Christmas cross-stitch. All right, so where do we begin? I'm gonna show you what I got today at an antique show. I got this unbelievably nice caddy was $60, which is a very fair price. This one is beat up. It's got paint on it. It is fabulous. I always look at the construction. This one does have screws, but it looks like they may have been, there were nails that were replaced because the screws look a lot newer than the wood. But this is just fabulous. It's so cool. And I love these caddies. I do keep things in them. What's great about these also, oh, it's got some sticky, um, is that you can take your, ring, your floss rings and hang them. So imagine how much floss you can have in here and charts and everything. And you can have your primitive look. And I love primitive. So... Let's get this off. Okay. So that I bought. Then I bought these. What are these? These are old uh, pins. They look like giant safety pins, but these are the real McCoy. They're really old. They're marked, if I can read them, by the company that made them. Anyway, I can't read it. Um, key tag. That's what they're called, and I can't read the rest. So maybe on this one. They're called key tags and patent, just the patent. And they have numbers on them. I guess if it was a cleaner, then each number could go to a customer. Then the guy had four. I took all four. What can you do with these? Ha ha. Floss. You can put four, you can put so many flosses for your, uh, for your project on here. How cool is that? These aren't, you know, fake, made in China, which maybe there's nothing wrong with that. I have some of those Hobby Lobby items that are supposedly vintage looking, but how cool is it to have a real vintage floss keep? Floss floss keep keeper so and I have four very excited so I got that today I also got some more pins and I made this 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 is a homemade Christmas tree made of fabric and somebody also put buttons on it but I took the back, that's free, and I put a lot of my vintage pins on it. I put some of the more valuable ones on front and some of the more contemporary ones, reproduction ones or broken ones on the back. And I have this great pin tree. I, uh, some of the less valuable ones I actually uh, make little, you know, can make a uh, needle minder that's really great see it's got a vintage button on the back just seasonal needle minders uh, but you know I'm not gonna break ones like this or this one this is an expensive one of course it's an, made by this company called Eisenberg but there's all different ones on here so I made this today it didn't take long this took about 20 minutes just hung all my pins on there but I had the reason I say I'm, I got this today is I bought two new pins for it which were very exciting for me to buy these pins so 
Now on to more cross stitch. Oh. Now, no worries, this whole box is not filled with cross stitch, but it's got a bunch of stuff that I need to show you. New and interesting stuff. The first one, first thing I'm going to show you are these. This is a, this is, I bought these on Etsy by somebody named Ancora Crafts. These are Threadworks Christmas colored flosses. I love Threadworks. In fact, it's now pretty much my favorite, one of my favorites for floss, over dyed floss. These are big, big skeins. And this was the Christmas collection. I guess she put them together. Ends up being $4.50 for a 20 yard skein. $4.50 for each 20 yard skein. I think it's $4.50, if not $5.75. It might be $5.75. Whatever it is, it comes out to be very, it's not, it's nice and cost effective. And these colors are beautiful. They're very vibrant, and I think they have better coverage than any other floss that I've used. I love them. So they're called Threadworks, and interestingly enough, they only have numbers on them. They don't put names on them, and I, I don't even know what the names of, of the, of the um, floss is. I don't know where they're made either. So I don't, other than I love them, I've worked with them now and they're the bomb. So we got thread. From Kathy's Posies, I've got the nicest, oh, it's got a thread, the nicest bag. Look at all the beautiful fabrics she put together. It's got a floss on it thread hanging. Look at all these beautiful fabrics and that beautiful embroidery on front. I love it. And the inside. This is just absolutely beautiful. Usually hers have um, zippers. She made this one without a zipper, but it doesn't need a zipper. I suppose you can put a button if you really wanted to, but so beautifully stitched. This fits a chart perfectly, as you can see, and it would fit everything you need to do for this project. In fact, this is what I am using for this project. So, love it. So that is one company. The second company, now this is an unboxing. Once again, that's Kathy's Posies. Unbelievable prices. Her project bags go from $16 to $24. And they're beautifully made. Just beautiful. Let's get all this out of here. I think I can put these down. I know, it seems like a lot of stuff because it is. <laughs> it's not as much as you think. Because some of this is kitted up stuff. Okay, so this, this shop, oh, I will be back. I'm back, I am back. Well, I'll show you these in a minute. My husband just got these for me. <laughs> Wait, you see them. Anyway, this is from Deborah Harry's. There's two of them in here. And I bought two of them because one's a gift for a friend. This is a gift for a friend. This one, um, this is all vintage, vintage needlework. And this is somebody's beautiful needlework. And I bought this, this one for my girlfriend for Christmas. And I bought one for me, which I haven't even seen. They're wrapped in what looks like to be old uh, paper that you would make, you know, pattern paper for dresses. Look at that. Very, very cool. This is the one I got for me. I haven't even seen it yet. So this is 
really nice. Wow, it's beautiful. This is Deborah Harry. She also makes uh, project bags and pouches and all kinds of things, exquisitely made. Both of these were on sale. And this is going to be a needlework pouch for me. How appropriate to have a needlework a needlework bag that has this beautiful needlework on it. Somebody's needlework. Amazing, you know, this is all vintage stuff that people once did or had on their uh, as a scarf and now it's something else. So, this is This is this is the big box. So this is by Deborah Harry. I bought one of these. I am going to keep this one in this box because I'm going to give it to my friend and wrap it just like that. So I got a box that I could wrap. And the other one I'm going to keep for me is a needlework bag. I love it. Okay. I know you're probably dying to see what my husband, what my husband brought me. Keep that a little bit. All right, so let's see what we got here. Okay, this is a weird thing. This says November, December. This is the third kit by from Dying to Stitch. Okay, they have. A, I'm in the club, and it said this is the third kit for this year, but it will be the last. We had planned on doing four kits, but with COVID, it had been difficult getting all the supplies, so we decided to stop at three. I just got this last week. Um, it, is, it is a pumpkin kit that I got for around Christmas, so I guess this is for next year. But this is for dying to stitch. Isn't that great? So it's really nice. It's Pineberry Lady Pole Pumpkin Seed. And it's beautiful, but it's just the timing's off. So I'll have this for next year. This is a weird year. I hope you can't hear them yelling in the next room. That's my husband and one of his daughters. I don't know what that's doing in there. Okay, so that's one thing. Okay, let's, I guess I'll put those there. Next, I'll show you uh, some thrift store finds. These, number one, old ribbon. When I say old vintage ribbon, this is made in the US. And this is great for the ornaments. It's really strong and it's uh, made of, I think polyester, it must be, satin. And there's 30 yards of it and it was 20 cents for 30 yards. Just unbelievably nice ribbon. Then I got some nice fabric. These are, I guess they're napkins of, or bread cloths. But look how pretty this fabric is. Brand new. Brand new. No smell, no nothing. I always smell it because if it smells like smoke, I will not get it or like animal. Also this fabric, real pretty fabric, also holiday fabric for finishing. This was basically nothing. She gave it to me. And then also basically nothing is this old scarf, which of course I now can give to maybe one of somebody to finish or use as a pillow backing. Isn't it pretty? Or I can, it's got a stain in it. It looks like a somebody had put a coffee cup on it, but where's the stain? I saw it. Yeah, it looks like a coffee ring. Isn't it pretty? So that's somebody's needlework. Or maybe I'll put it on the piano or I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it's really pretty. Next, from the cross stitch cupboard, I did, on my last video, I did pick this up from the City Stitcher into this garden. This is a beautiful, beautiful sampler. 
I don't know when I'm going to do it. It just goes in the stash, but it is beautiful. I loved it. When I saw the finish, I was like, ooh. And then, a lot of you have seen this Glendon Place. Once again, this is the, what is it called? GP272? Can't be. Sir Thomas. <laughs> Why she didn't put it on the front, I don't know. Sir Thomas. But, what you haven't seen is what it comes with to finish. Now, this will be for next year's. This is the finishing bead kit. And the finishing kit for the treasure braid. These special fibers that come with it. Unbelievable. Uh, silk lame. I don't even know what's in here. Beautiful colors of silk. This is going to be unbelievable. I can't wait to do it. Um, enamored with it already. I think I'm probably going to start it after Christmas. Even though I have other things to do, this is so different and so beautiful that I can't wait to start it. I was really pleased with this. So I also bought that from the cross stitch cupboard. Um, this is in my bag because I'm going to be starting this soon. This is probably my next. This is my next start. And Joy Noel. And I picked out a bunch of colors. These are are going to be the colors. Beautiful colors, huh? And this is the fabric. It's thick. I don't know what it is. It's linen. It's thick. It is the same color as and almost the same homespun consistency. I know. I'm sorry. There's a glare as what's in the pack on the package. So I can't wait to make this. So this is my next start. If I get real good, maybe I'll start it tonight actually, but I, this is by Artful Offerings. So that stays out. In fact, let's put it in my new Noel bag. I can't wait, I love it. Okay, my next start. I have other starts that were my next starts, but that really is. Sent to me um, by uh, by somebody that's a member of our group. I forgot to show this to you. This is Hoover, Alabama. I think it's Alabama. <laughs> and she sent this to me with a little... So I was a little... Uh, from... It's... Um, it was part of the ornament exchange. She sent it with my ornament, but I forgot to show you last time. This is some beautiful fabric. I only bought it because it's all hard to find stuff. And the only reason I'm looking here is, to, is I'm not sure which one's which. Hmm. Here you go. This is Vintage Overcast, Vintage Overcast by Lakeside. I'll probably never see it again. It's beautiful. And then some more Birds of a Feather fabric she had, which I've shown you before. But here you go. So I've shown these to you before. So, I'm not going to show them again, but they are beautiful. And then, here is, I got this on a stash on load. This is Sarah's Marking Sampler by The Good Housewife. Once again, a very small one. Very cute, would make a beautiful little pin cushion. By the Good Housewife, Sarah's Marking Sampler. This is out of print. 
wasn't very expensive. I got it on a, like I said, one of the Facebook stash on load. come in a container that's all part of that then I got more Christmas colors from heart threads company again on Etsy a beautiful assortment of Christmas colors highly highly recommend oops highly recommend look blacks reds greens I know I'm I have a million Christmas colors now they're unnamed it doesn't really matter I just want to tell you how to get to her Christmas um, to her shop because it's hard to let's see if I can find it um, if I can find the name of the shop, I should be more prepared, right? I just wasn't thinking about it. Three Hearts Design Company. So that's all one word. Three Hearts Design CO. Three Hearts Design CO. Just to let you know if you want to go. These are an absolute bargain. Um, the price is incredibly low. The colors are beautiful variegated and rich I can't tell you enough about hers they're not named and it may be difficult to get the same color again so make sure you would if there's a specific color you're buying buy enough but it's unbelievably nice just really super super nice Another uh, by, by Praiseworthy Stitches was Sarah's Crows. I don't know where I got this. Either a stash unloading, I think, or eBay, or who knows. I didn't get this from the cross-stitch cupboard. I was looking for it there, but she didn't have it. I just love the yellow border. So I bought that once again on the back burner. I bought by Threads of Gold. I bought 1724 MH sampler. I got this on Etsy and it was not cheap. It was like $27 or something like that. But it's it's fabulous, isn't it? It's completely different than anything I've ever done. So I did buy this. It was not easy to find either, but then I've, I've already shown you this. This is Praiseworthy Stitches, Wonderful Star Emanuel. I'm absolutely in love with it. I got all the colors to do it, all the overdides, all of them. And it's going to be done soon. Fabulous, isn't it? It's beautiful. So this is going into my Noel bag because both of these are going to be started. I got all those colors because I wanted to start it. I have to double check and make sure there's nothing out. But look, you can fit two projects in here. Fabulous. What else? Oh, these are, these are also from Stash on Load sites on Facebook. This is a little kit called 1776 Harbor. By Chessie and me. No. Isn't that pretty? And it comes with everything you need. These are great little travel kits. This one is not Christmas, obviously. <laughs> it comes with all the floss. And this looks like it comes with silk floss and just to show you a little bit of the peak of the floss and some fabric. These are so cute, these kits, but I got that on stash unloading, and so did I get this one. This is by the Work Basket. How cool is that? It's a, it's a thread keep wooden thing, and it comes with the wooden thing and the everything you need to make this. Check it out. By the Work Basket. 
I'm sure you'll never find this again because I'm, it's, I'm sure it's not made. It was probably made for something, someone. Unbelievably nice. Okay. Another sampler that I got, I don't know when I'm going to do that, and I did buy some fabric for it, is by Silver Creek. A million people are doing this, the sampler. I have fabric in here too. I have two different fabrics. So I have all the colors. For my Christmas list. Like I said, so many people are doing this. And the fabric that I pulled out, this is an X, I don't know, I think it's an X Jude design. I'm pretty sure it is. Is it? No, it is not. This fabric is made by e-designs. Very, very, very hard to get. I'm not sure the name of it. It's gray. It's variegated. I thought I bought fabric for it, but I did a different one, but no. And it's going to look unbelievably nice. So this is by e-designs. Am I going to start this this year? Probably not. Maybe. Maybe. Why did I kick this up? I don't know. I don't need, I don't, didn't need to do it, but I love that. Love it. The other piece of fabric I have is 36 count extra designs. I got this for this too. Um, and it's called beige gray. And it's, it's, it's very pretty too. It's lighter. I think in the picture it looks really, really light, but it is actually a silver gray. So I'm not sure if I want to do the darker gray or the silver gray. My gut feeling is the darker gray. So I might save this for something else. Extra Designs fabrics are beautiful. They used to be available just on her Facebook, excuse me, her Etsy page, but now other people sell them. Finally, some thrift store finds, and I mean, oh, not finally, I have this unboxing, so what do you see this? I don't need this. This is by Designs for the Needle. It's awfully cute. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it, other than I might give it away as a giveaway. I couldn't let this. I mean, I think she charged me a quarter. Um, how cute is this? So, and then I also got these. These were free. They're called paint and stuff, but I was, I'm sure you can stitch on them. Not only, so I got those. There's three of them. There's the snowman. The candy cane and this is the uh, gingerbread man. And um, even though it says to paint on them, I think you probably could mount some, sew some needlework on them and make make very nice finishes. I, this these are pretty and they were free. This also was very inexpensive. This is by Sue Hillis, 1993 kit, and it makes a little stocking. Aren't they cute? So it comes with the stocking and it comes with the floss. Such a beautiful colors of floss. I haven't opened this yet. Let me see. I don't remember where, not, no, I got this, I did not get this at a thrift store. I got this on uh, stash unloading. Let's see. Um, I'm looking to see how, oh, they're itty bitty little designs. Bitty bitty. I'm not showing you the pattern. This will take, this is like a one day thing. And how cute are they? You can stuff them with something. But these are quickies I can bring with me to um, 
when I go to Tennessee for Christmas because I need something small for there. Hey, the lighting's awful. I can't see. And then when I bring my lighting, I brought um, my LED uh, hot light. It was, everybody complained it was too bright. So, <laughs> finally, this is an unboxing. This is from Canada. Hint, hint. From Canada. Do I have a scissor here? I did not need to do a stitch along. Here we go. And, um, I don't know what possessed me. This is my last. I'm seriously not buying anything. You won't see videos from me because I'm not. I have nothing new to show. I'll just be showing videos that show stuff I already have and my progress and whips and stuff like that. So this is an unboxing. Do you know what it is yet? Has anybody guessed? Has anybody guessed? Uh, well, it's a very popular limited edition stitch along by a very popular designer from the UK. And, okay, Ann Morrison. Nice, huh? This came all the way from traditional stitches. In fact, I think they started yesterday. Am I going to actually start it? I really would like to. I've never worked with, with uh, a Versoie 100 coming in, in this form before, at least. And this is 46 count Jersey Cream. A beautiful, beautiful, creamy color. It's marked Ann Morrison Anniversary Sampler. It's to celebrate the anniversary um, of traditional stitches. I think it's 30 years. I think so. It's not very big. And this is, it's their 20th anniversary, excuse me. And that's Ann Morrison by, of course, Hands Across the Sea. Limited edition. is the stitch count on this so this is 46 count fabric so obviously it's done with one uh, one strand of the hundred and uh, oh, I don't see the stitch count but that's what the model was done on the 46 count Jersey cream so you've now seen this unboxed I really want to start this. Okay, so these are all coming out. This one, this one, and of course the Good Housewife, which I hope I'll finish tonight. Okay. Now I gotta go get a magazine to show you, so I'll be right back. The last part of the video, or parts, are 2007 Christmas Ornament Edition. And I'm also going to show you something really special I picked up at an antique show today. Uh, it's very creative and I didn't make it and it does involve, it does involve needlework. So, let's start the 2007 Just Cross Stitch. I like the old issues better, I think. Well, there's a number of reasons. I do like the designers that are in it. Maybe it's not that I like the designers in it better. I think they're just more familiar. And I did find out that the designers had a lot more control over what they put in the magazine. So they would have control over finishing, photography, um, choice of materials, and so forth, and now they don't. So a lot of designers don't want to deal with that and have not contributed. On the other hand, there's quite a few new designers that are contributing and it's sort of nice to see something different. So with that said, I'm going to show you 2007. So I'll go through these and if you know, need to know individually, I'll let you know. 
uh, number one, angel stitching, legacy designs, hands to work, designs by Kathy Jean, Thistle Threads, The Prairie Schooler, The Sweetheart Tree, and Julia Lucas. You can see all of these in one page. Pretty nice, huh? Next is, see, I like this. They, had, they have some quotes in here. Uh, the first quote was, I just noticed this, uh, our hearts grow tender with childhood memories and love of kindred, and we are better throughout the year for having in spirit become a child again at Christmas time. Laura Ingalls Wilder. Now, this quote is, my idea of Christmas, whether old-fashioned or modern, is very simple. Loving others. Come to think of it, why do we have to wait for Christmas to do that? Bob Hope? M Designs, Nordic Needle, excuse me, Nordic Needle, Needle, Moss Creek, Ursula Michaels, Needle Play, Lizzie Kate, and Scandinavian Stitches. Can see them all. I like that little joy on the bottom. That's Lizzie Kate. I like them all. They're really these are pretty. Next, and is it true? And is it true? This most tremendous tale of all, seen in a stained glass window's hue, a baby in an ox's stall. The maker of the stars and sea became a child on earth for me. Sir John Betjeman, and I don't know who that is. DB's Designs, Brittercup, Cherish Stitches, Homespun Elegance, The Work Basket, Milady's Needle, and La Dee Da. Very, very cute. I like that dark one. That's La Dee Da. I hope you can see. Try to bring it in. Next, here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane, Vixen and Blitz, Blitzen and all his reindeer pulling on the reins. Well, you know this. It's, here comes Santa Claus is the uh, person they quote. Heartstrings, Knotted Tree, Dragon Dreams, Twisted Oaks, Cindy Valentine, Mosey and Me, Raise the Roof, Carriage, House Samplings, and Water's Edge. These are all Santas see them well, right? Christmas is not a time nor a season, but a state of mind to cherish peace and goodwill, to plen plenteous in mercy is to have the real spirit of Christmas. Hmm. To cherish peace and goodwill, to be plenteous in mercy is to have the real spirit of Christmas, Calvin Coolidge, Erica Michaels, Jeanette Douglas, The Cat's Whiskers, Charlotte Designs, Follow the Leader, Sue Hillis, Fancy Work, Praiseworthy Stitches, Blue Ribbon Designs, and Bright Needle. These are really nice. I love to hear what people like. I keep hitting a... I keep hitting this. <laughs> Next. Happy, happy Christmas that can win us back to the delusions of our childish, childish days, that can recall to the old man the pleasures of his youth, that can transport the sailor and the traveler thousands of miles away back to his own fireside in his quiet home. Charles Dickens, The Pickwick Papers. Shepherd's Bush, Cross-Eyed Cricket, Forget Me Not, Country Cottage Needleworks, and Little by Little. I'm trying to get them all in one screen. Okay. Come on, 
weatherman, give us a forecast snowy white. Can't you hear the prayers of every child like heart tonight? Rockies are calling, Denver snow falling. Somebody said it's four feet deep, but it doesn't matter. Give me the laughter I'm going to choose to keep. Tennessee Christmas. Medeiros Needlecraft, Monster Bubbles, Imaginating, Sam Sarah, Full Circles, Charlotte's Web, and Sisters and Best Friends. These are awfully cute. Look at those guys. That's, that's a cool gingerbread house. That's pretty neat too. That gingerbread house, Maderos. Number five, full circle. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And then the true meaning of Christmas came through and the Grinch found the strength of 10 Grinches plus two. Dr. Seuss. The Stitchworks, Kitty and Me, Glory B, Busy Creations, Val Stuff, Elizabeth's Designs, Crossed Wing Collection, and Gemini. And I really like this woodpecker by Gemini. We have woodpeckers in our neighborhood, so I like, I think that's my favorite. See it? But peaceful was the night where, wherein the Prince of Light his reign upon peace upon the earth began. The winds with wonder whist, smoothly the waters kissed, whispering new joys to the mild ocean, who, nath how, who now hath quite forgot to rave, while birds of calm sit brooding on the charmed wave. John Milton. Serendipity, we works, midsummer nights, designs, a sunflower seed, Charlotte's Collectibles, Prairie Moon, and Gentle Pursuits. And I really like this Midsummer Night Designs, Christmas Angel. Uh, this really, really interesting. Can you see them all? I hope. See them all. just goes on and on. I heard the bells on Christmas Day, their old familiar carols play, and wild and sweet the words repeat of peace on earth, goodwill to men, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. I, there is a song that is sung by Casting Crowns called I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day. That's wonderful. That's what this reminds me of. Rosewood Manor, Little House Needleworks, Loopy Lou, The Victoria Sampler, Ladybug, Heritage, and Still S Stitching with Susan. Can you see them all? Quite clever to have the uh, stitching around a candlestick. Around the candle. I'd be a little careful with that candle. It would burn down your stitching but it is clever. Aha! <laughs> it's not a real candle. It's one of those electric ones. Very, very clever. And I think that's it. Just a thick one. There's recipes in here, as usual. I just see if there's any interesting advertising. Wonderful. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the video. I don't know the next time I'm going to make another video. I tend to do these now, oh, every two, three, four weeks, something like that. And it's Christmas season, so it's sort of busy for me. And of course, work gets in the way. I'm going to show you one more thing. Um, let me put this on hold. Well, I'm showing you my dining room and some a vintage find. This truck, now this is a real old 
truck made by Structo Steel Company and this designer and she, I still left her tag here. It's Gayla Bathley. She, uh, she creates these. She has many more elaborate ones, but I, I had to show you this, how, how absolutely clever it is. And she puts all kinds of things in the truck. The reason I wanted to show you this in particular are these guys. I'm just going to take them out. This was made by a very talented person and crocheted and put on this form very tightly. It's fabulous. I mean, the, the, the can, you, can you see the face? Hold on, it looks, let's get him. Well, it won't let me focus for whatever reason, but they're fabulous. She actually added that because I thought there was a hole here, so she just ch chose something and put it in here. And I love it. Isn't it great? With these vintage bottle brush trees. It just makes for a table. And just to show you, I have this antique ladder. It's a real old antique ladder where it's got some vintage Christmas linens, just some extra ones, because I do use them. I put them on different areas and different tables around the house. So now we're really done. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video. This is what my husband brought me home from Home Depot, just to show you. This one. Okay, and this one. We love cats, so <laughs> we have a dog and a cat, but he's so funny. Anyway, from my home to yours, have a great week, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. If you did not enjoy the video, I'm very sorry, and uh, I do the best I can. And uh, I hope everybody keeps stitching. Have a great week, guys. Bye.